Hi, I'm Ariana and I study physics at Imperial College London in England and I'm a member of the Tyrock Study Programme 2014. Hi, I'm Law. Uh, I am from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and um, I'm doing Tyrock Summer 2014. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm from, I go to Brown University in Rhode Island. I'm studying physics. I'll be graduating uh, next year actually. Um, and I'm a participant in the Tyrock Summer 2014 program. I'm Kirsten Allen, and I'm studying Material Science Engineering at the University of Washington, and I am a TROP uh, Summer 2014 participant. So, in general, I think studying abroad is important to everyone during a college career. Um, I think having an international perspective and an appreciation for other cultures is a good thing both as a citizen and, you know, in your own career. Uh, I decided to study abroad because I'd never had a gap year and I'd never even really left Europe. So I wanted an experience of somewhere completely different and completely new. And Japan was about the most different and the most new you could get. And the culture was just so interesting and so unique compared to anywhere I'd ever been before. So as soon as I saw the opportunity, I thought, I have to go there. Oh, it's been great so far. Um, I'm working on a research project that involves using uh, DNA enzymes, which are this catalytic DNA, and I'm working in um, a bioengineering department. And um, my research has been a great mix of independence with help, so I've had an independent project that I have been working on, but I have the assistance of a lot of people um, that know uh, what techniques I'm using and have some background in this, so I can always turn to um, them and ask for some help. So I think the best part has to be um, getting to know the people in my lab. They've all been extremely nice, welcoming, very helpful, you know. Um, one, one of the guys I work with works on things that are very similar to what I'm researching, and he's basically become a research partner. Um, his research has become aligned with mine very much, and so we're working together towards, you know, the end goal of um, maybe getting my research published, which is extremely exciting. Uh, my best experience at Tokyo Tech was probably very early on when my group of four lab mates uh, took me out for some sushi and I had only been in Japan a few days, I was really nervous, had no idea what was going on and they took me to the sushi place and I just remember thinking, I'm going to be alright, these people are lovely and I'm going to have a good time there. Um, well, I've learned a lot of technical expertise as part of my lab, a lot of lab techniques that I think I can use in the future, and I've been trained on a lot of lab equipment that I haven't had the chance to use in the United States. So I think from a technical standpoint, I think that will be very useful. Um, in addition, I've met a lot of people internationally, and they're in different but related fields to mine. And uh, when I go out into my career in the future, um, it will not be just uh, textbook style only material science that I will be studying. I'm sure I will need the help of electrical engineers or uh, mechanical engineers, and like uh, likewise. So I think it'll be great to have um, people I can turn to in other countries and other places with their own experiences um, in their own careers to get that kind of um, information that I'll need. Studying abroad kind of opens up your perspective and it gives you a, a greater sense of how to handle problems um, because everyone thinks differently and you might think you have a solution and it only gets you so far and you talk to somebody else and they have a completely different pers perspective and that really helps you solve your problems and when you do international um, studying abroad like, like Tyrop is, um, you get very different perspectives on things and it's really nice to kind of take those uh, perceptions, perspectives, and uh, integrate it into your way of thinking, the way you handle problems. This experience has definitely given me the confidence to take that leap and go into graduate study abroad, because I was considering it before I came here, but I didn't really know if I had the confidence or the ability. But now that I've come to Japan for three months where I knew no one, I didn't speak the language, and I've managed to make a success of it, I think I can do anything now.